Hi, I'm Petra Courtright, and this is my first U.S. Museum solo show at the Palm Springs Art Museum. It's called Sapphire Cinnamon Viper Fairy. My work can really be broken down into very classical art history themes of landscapes and self-portraits. While the work may be made in a contemporary way, I think that I make the kind of work where you don't need an essay to understand it, you can just react. I don't ever remember a single title of my paintings. Um, they're really long and convoluted. The titles are all generated from spam text and SEO lists that I've collected online. The paintings are a collage of uh, hundreds and hundreds of brush strokes and other images that I download from online or images that I take myself. I love to hunt for things online. I love using other things that people have made and then I also like making my own custom tools as well inside the programs that I use. The video works are uh, collaged uh, by running the video feed through several different programs at once. I've presented 50 videos before um, on 50 screens. This is actually 210 videos across 50 screens. Most of them are quite short. Uh, they, were, they were meant to live online and um, they're these quick self-portrait sketches and ideas that I just wanted to get across really quickly. Sort of a reflection of how people have consumed them online. Um, this very fast, quick flutter of consumption. I'm very proud of working digitally, and so I want to show that it is a digital process and that uh, things can be repeated and changed. It allows a lot of uh, flexibility for producing things physically. Every single part of the file is endlessly editable and I will pull brush strokes from one painting and move them into another. You can see that in the physical work, so you'll be able to see the exact same brush stroke from one piece to the next, um, even though the pieces are all, are all unique. A huge benefit of working digitally is that I can experiment with many different substrates. I'm a huge fan of aluminum just because it's a reflective surface and because of the printing process always loved computers. I loved world building games like SimCity 2000. I would spend many, many hours just editing the landscapes and not even really playing the game. I was more interested in the infrastructure of the worlds that I could build. 